in the two wave total. Here's we got the, our new heat for some more and a uh, opportunity right now, Jesse, for the local wild card, Yolanda Hopkins. That's a great opportunity, biggest stage you can have on surfing. Yes, um, it just looked like a very shorty, um, shorter corner wave for her, so she wasn't able to do much. Um, but it also looks like she was right on the rip, um, the rip exit, right? It's right at the beginning of the heat. And that was great. This is all came from this very critical turn. Um, and I think that's her strength, right? Um, she's very powerful, solid on her foot. And this is going to be her strength, and she's applying as we speak. Check this out. Deep bottom turn, as critical as you can get, just redirecting super deep and coming out with a lot of speed. All right, cutting to Yolanda Hopkins, kicking out of her wave. Uh, it's interesting, Steph Gilmore getting taken out by Sally Fitzgibbons. Sally Fitzgibbons with her inspiration on her back. And then you have more of the peaky ones, so it's just um, chaos out there yesterday and today. Um, Carissa up and riding. Here comes Carissa Moore, and she gets caught on the toes, goes down. So still yet to break a two in her scoreline. Husband Luke right there uh, giving some signals from the beach and some positive energy. Still plenty of time, though. Her last wave did not improve her scoreline. Up and out by Yolanda Hopkins. Yo-Yo in the lead against Carissa Moore in the non-priority heat. What an effort for Courtney. I know. It's, it's a tricky one for me as we speak. Um, that angle, um, let's see what... Carissa does right here. Carissa needs to come back right now. Eases through a cutback, setting up for the inside. A little dig of the rail is going to slow her forward momentum and still off step. The five time world champ has yet to break a two in this matchup. 22 minutes remaining. One of the best talents is coming up right now. And Yolanda up and right. A nice crack right there for her. Yeah, in the priority heat now, Yolanda Hopkins has been, had actually the number on Carissa Moore up until now. She's had to lead the entire heat over the five-time world champ. We're down to 16 minutes. She had four waves and below one point right, and right here she's going to be stoked with that score. Um, probably going to apply some more pressure to Carissa. Yeah, this is it. Yes, look at this turn right there. Just so vertical, air dropping off the sky right there. She felt very confident when she was kicking out of that. She knew it was a good turn right here. So much pressure on the back foot, just really exploding that maneuver right there. And so technical and very hard to land. Here we go. More needs something now. Quick snap to look down the line. Glides through that section there. That's a start for Carissa Moore. Looking to just chip away. She's probably not going to get the uh, 7.94 right there, but she has time enough to make it up in two waves. And here you see Carissa identifying a very clean wave. Nice whip right there. Looks like this board is a little bit faster, a little bit sharper. Finishes strong, and she's definitely going to be back in the heat after this wave. Yeah. One more time from above, and this is what world champs need to do, right? Battle back when in a compromising position. Keeping your head cool, surfing to the criteria. Carissa Moore, an inch can make a difference in the performance of a surfboard, just how it affects the rail line of a board because you can feel that extra inch of rail for sure. Here's Carissa Moore. Quick back outside, quick back to her feet. Little carve there. Wants something exciting for the finish. Gets up and times it well. Ahead of the backwash, 7.17. You can see the look on Carissa's face and just like the effort she's putting into it right now. I think um, that urgency just kind of caught up to her. This is a nice wrap right here, but this second turn where um, there's more juice on the wave, she ended up missing time a little bit. But as you see right here, this board, I'm very used to the sub driver because I used to ride for Mayhem back in the day. Uh, Still got some skin in the game in a way, so it's always, <laughs> always. And Here she go. goes. Chris Moore needs a 7.17. Hacks a big layback. One turn, however, she's going to lean on that one layback hack for that 7.17. We saw big turns for Yolanda Hopkins getting a six point ride of 5.67. Um, maybe not as critical of a section because she didn't hit the lip, but just right there, layback, disengaging the fins coming out with a lot of control so that's going to be a great score for her um check this out just uh, like look like she lost control of it but that was all in